Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do the flower look. I forgot the name of it. I saw this on the internet and someone told me the name, but I forgot the name of it. It comes in purples and pinks, I think, like fuchsias and yellows. Um, this does not do the colors justice because my printer, um, I bought a new printer, so I'm using up the black ink of my old printer. I have no color ink left. And I did that on my husband's printer, and his color ink is finishing. So until I finish the black ink on my printer, because that's expensive, I'm not putting up the new printer. So the colors on here are really not that good. It is so vibrant if you look at it on the internet. So I'm going to use my Inglot. The only um, color I don't have um, is um, the, the chartreuse color, because... Um, a she was asking me about a good chartreuse color and because she's just so good to me I just I gave her like three of my Inglot colors that um, that she was interested in I thought she would like and that's one of the ones I gave her so um, I don't have that one anymore so I'm gonna have to use the 180 palette for that so because I'm working with the 180 I'm not a hundred percent sure well whenever I'm working with the 180 and it's not a frosty color it doesn't always come out that pigmented when you're working with a non frosty color I'm gonna start with this color and put that on my inner the inner um, corner it's like a, a, a really bright uh, from what I can see in that picture a very like a chartreuse type of color then I'm gonna use this nice um, red violet from my Inglot I, that's a believe it's 72 AMC because I put stickers on the back of them. usually for Inglot you don't need um you don't need the um oh wow that's really pretty you don't need to use a, ba uh, a base color I have primer on then I'm going to take um a blued more of like a blue violet I'm gonna take this one right here that's 491 DS double sparkle I'm gonna use that those are the colors that um, are in this um, at least online anyway um, like I said that does not really do it any justice that that picture that I just showed you outer corner and work my I don't know why I tend to lean to the left sorry and work my way up I'm gonna go with a white with my um, I have a white from Inglot but it's not really like a pure white and that's a pure white so I'm gonna use my um, uh, virgin eyeshadow from Manic Panic and put that in here and try to blend it into that contour color with whatever's on the brush you just you know blend in back what was removed and then underneath because there's still like also the stem was yellow green I'm gonna put my graffiti pencil the stem is a, a, a very like yellowish green so I'm gonna go with um, right underneath the chartreuse I'm gonna go with that yellow green and put it on the bottom and then I'm just gonna use regular um, black mascara and eyeliner finish my makeup and I'll be right back hey everyone so this is the finished look um I don't know why but um it started um, creasing on me a little bit, so I think maybe it is um, better that maybe you put on a base 
um, the lid, my lid color. So maybe it is, but I should, I had a, you know, I, I should have used my NYX base. Um, so yeah, so I just put regular black, um, line, liquid liner mascara on top. Um, from my, um, 120, I used this like, I don't know if this is like a neon, but you would consider the neon violet, but that pretty like red violet color. I used that as my blush. And um, at first I put on one of my older Mary Kay lipstick strike a pose rose that comes in a pink tube, but it was it was kind of light and I really wanted it to be darker. So over that I put my amethyst. I think it's a like a dark violet color. So those two colors are mixed together. So that's what I did. So I mean, of course, you know, you do whatever you like to do. If you like to put nude or you know whatever you wanted to put on a green whatever <laughs> on your lips so that's what i did so um so yeah next week i believe is earth day so um i want to use my my spring forward palette my nude awakening for that so that's what i'm going to do next week